Well, the race for the World Series crown is down to eight, and a capacity crowd is in postseason form as we get you ready for this one. It's game one of the American League Division Series between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Angus W. will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, when you look up the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher, this is your kind of guy. Career ERA under three, just knows how to get it done, controls the running game, limits the amount of damage, and more importantly, he knows how to win, and that's why it's going to be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Game time temperature here in Boston about what you'd expect for the playoffs 53 degrees for first pitch and a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. DJ LeMayhew will be next and he lays off here ball four and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time out number two. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. The Yanks leave one. Yankees nothing. Red Sox coming to bat. You're dialed in to the show. Luis Severino gets the call in hostile territory here for game one of the division series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Grounded to third. Urshela has it. And there's one gone to start the night. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Judge facing back on the warning track. He makes the catch. And with two away now, let's give you a look at the big picture here. There you see the participants in this year's playoffs. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. A bouncer to the left side, taken in by Gregorius. Throw on to Voigt, takes care of him, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. We are still scoreless. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch hit hard up the middle. Played on the backhand. Throw to first to be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball Batting four. Seven. A bouncer up the middle, scooped up to second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Yanks held in check. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short. Needed that one to be a few feet higher, and the leadoff man is gone to start the home second. Popped him up. Boyd is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Once again, a 3-2. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. 
Man, if that's like this, make every hitting coach happy. This is what they all preach. Stay inside the ball, stay behind the ball. You can see he lets this one travel deep, then just inside out this thing off the right center field wall. That's some rare power there, and a little bit scary to opposing pitchers. He sent the 3-2. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. The 1-1. Hit out towards second. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting done. The designated hitter. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Interested to see where he goes now. Straight three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Popped him up. Urshela has a play. And that's the first out of the inning. The 3-0 pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Stanton coming on. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. No, nope, sorry about that. They're saying it was short hop. Oh, man, I don't know how now that happened. Out. Looked to be a Center base fielder. hit to the outfield, but get then all of a sudden the throw Mark comes Kowala. in and they get the force on the plate. To be honest, that just can't happen. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. We're moving along in this one, heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well. And one of the reasons why, first pitch strike ratio over 70% up to this point in this game. The 3-2 pitch. There's ball four. LeMahieu, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Hit hard to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And pretty fortunate here as they do wind up getting the out at first, although the runner will advance to second. Here's the two and two. Shoot on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for the Yankees. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. And they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. He makes the throw to first, two down. Outside, three and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. The 3 0. -oh. In there for the base hit. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And he will leap to make an incredible catch. He takes away extra bases to put an end to the inning. They don't come much better than this. Full extension out in center to pull this one in. We're back with more of game one after this message and a word from our local stations. Now here's the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Moving under it. Fielder. One out. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Fielder is after it. And he makes the catch in the corner. Now look at our line score to this point. And I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out. But it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, And that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Halfway home, still no score. Hard on the ground to a short. And all the throw pulls the first.
first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Boy, this is an absolute gift to them, especially when they've had so much trouble getting anybody on base. So now the leadoff hitter is aboard and might be looking to run. They've got to do whatever they can to get some offense going. He's set. Here's the three and two. Now a foul tip right into the catcher's glove as he's able to hang on for the first out. Stepping in now, Maxwell Wolverine. Soft liner to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, that wasn't a very good pitch there. Up and away. That breaking ball, d -roll, that slider intended to be down and away. Instead, it was up and away. Yeah, that was definitely a missed spot right there, Dan. Into the box, Juan Rado. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Now the 1-0. And there's a base hit on the line. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there. But you have to hold there, d to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Loriano is there. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. This has pretty much been a pitcher's duel so far, so any way you can score a run in a sack fly right there brings home the first run of the game here in the middle innings. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Stanton has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Red Sox settle for just the one. Five innings complete. It's the Red Sox one and the Yankees nothing. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Left the wall. Going back on it. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Wow, I was starting to wonder if we had to go on no hit alert, Dan. Yeah, I know it. you were privy the to that. Sixth inning right Gio here, they finally break sure. through with their first hit of the game. And, and you have to wonder, D Row, this guy had been cruising all along going into this sixth inning. We'll see if he can be able to buckle down right here. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The 0 2 pitch. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Oh. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Ready with the 2 0. Soft liner toward first. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over. Yanks leave one. They trail this one, one to nothing. Into the box now. Major dirtbag. He's batting cleanup Leading in this off. one, but will get us started off. here in the inning no as they look to wake up the dirtbag. bats. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. <laughs> shot here to left his first homer here in the series and that gives the Red Sox a two to nothing lead well people always wonder why some players make so much money and there's your answer the great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason and he did right there comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and he's looking to the bullpen here so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here didn't pitch all that poorly yet he's gone nonetheless. Adam Adovino takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Here he comes again, 1-2. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. 
Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. This one's down to third. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him and the inning is over. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo shot. Four, five, and six coming up to start the seventh. It's now 2 nothing Boston. The 2-2. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Pitch on the way. To third. Throw just in time. And, oh, that was awfully close. He'll try again, one, two. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're down two to nothing. Zach Britton gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Zach Britton. Now in the box, Chester Fielder. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Wow, with spear to the hop. And there are two away now. And he pops him up. Drifting toward the left side of the infield. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Down in order go the Red Sox. But they're on top two to nothing. Line to shortstop and there's one away. One gone the here in the shot. eighth as we check our Didi. line score to this point. Gregorious. And boy, you can see the story of the game right there in the hit column. Just one hit allowed through seven and a third. He has been awfully tough to solve. Another one-two delivery. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Two out, nobody on. High in the air out to center field. Lackawalla moves over. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They trail it here, two to nothing. Tyler Lyons is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. The one, two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Hit on the ground to third. And that's the second out. Bases are empty here with two men out. Skied into straightaway right. Judge is on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they hold a two nothing lead. Ladies Muhammad Coyote comes out of the please. bullpen to shut things now, down here the in the Red ninth. Sox. Number 99, Muhammad Coyote. Comes set with the 0-1. Pitch popped up. Thurman has room in foul territory. One away. And there are the final numbers for the Boston starter. And he really delivered a fantastic postseason performance. Hey, Matty V, you know when you've got really good stuff, you look down at that strikeout total, double-digit strikeouts in this one. He had swing and miss stuff right from the beginning. The 2-2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Last chance for the Yankees. Yankees, good night. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here.
this one. Definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. Well, heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our top player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Bo Sox win the opener here in the division series. Angus W. is the winning pitcher of record. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.